AM is back. Hey, welcome back to Fox 10, 821 right now. And Corey is hanging out at Arizona Opera's costume shop. Oh, and you were quick change. Oh, yeah. that was a fast change. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Well, Troy, I, I think you probably know by now, Desiree, Troy is a very, he's accomplished. He can sew, he can iron, oh, he yeah. always looks sharp. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, and Actually, Troy taught me a couple of tricks when it comes to narrowing your silhouette. Oh. Anyway, oh, yeah. we'll talk about that uh, yeah. more uh, Can in a we moment. send that? <laughs> uh, but what's that? Can you pass that tip along oh, to me no. right now? I need all the help I can get. Yeah, no, oh, <laughs> I'm afraid, Desiree, you, uh, your ship has already sailed. Uh, eventually, when those twins pop out, your silhouette will narrow naturally, as I'm sure you're aware. But good for us. We've got Kathleen Trott with us, and she is the costume shop manager here at Arizona Opera. I respect so much what you do and what your staff does to, to be able to create from scratch. I think a lot of people think, especially, you know, when you're watching a show or an opera, if you're in the audience, you think, oh, I wonder where, what, you know, what secondhand shop they got that from? Mm -hmm. You build a lot of things like yeah, we from do. Jump we do. Street. Mm -hmm. So that doublet that you had on earlier, we actually built from scratch. It was designed and we purchased the fabric and the velvet up at the top. Yeah. We actually burned it out ourselves and dyed it to be that color. Well, so. it, it's just great. We'll, we'll maybe take another look at that. Uh, and we're looking at uh, costumes, of course, on the rack here. Mm -hmm. This now... It would seem to me, for instance, here, you built this. Oh, yeah, from scratch. But why not just uh, comb through, a, you know, a secondhand shop or sure. someplace to get, you know, a three-button jacket like well, that? part of the problem that we run into a lot, even with clothes that are sort of modern and normal, if you mm -hmm. will, is that they don't come in the sizes that we need. I see. Because all that's left of historical clothes is the small size oh. that didn't get worn very often. So even in a sort of standard 42, we have to build stuff for, oh, or the see. designer can't find the fabric or the color that they need. Well, I think that's super important because you, you of course you want your singers to look fantastic. And if it's custom made, of course, yeah, it's, it it's going to. Better. Well, you've got some master classes uh, going on. And we're going to talk about the painting and the jewelry uh, in a moment. But let's talk about fabric and dyeing yeah. over here and who can be involved and how this is all going to work. Absolutely. So this week we have our Shiburi master class and Shiburi is where tie-dye came from. Mm -hmm. um, and so today actually we have that class and you can still join in virtually with us. If you have time to come and pick up a kit, you can purchase a kit and do it with us. We're repeating this class in October. Okay. If you want to do it and you just don't have the time to join us today. We're hoping we can have live participation mm -hmm. and virtual in October. We'll see how the world fares for us. Okay, so people can swing by Arizona Opera, yeah. pick up their kit. Yeah. And uh, well, what's the age range generally for what uh, we're doing over here? So Shibori, since it has a little bit of hot dye in it, we like it to be probably like 12 to 13 and up. If you have sort of an advanced and safe younger child with mm -hmm. adult supervision, you can totally do it. It's it's tie dye, just fancy basically. Yeah, and these are the results. Oh, look mm -hmm. at that. That's very cool. Yeah, our painter dyer Shelby Joyner, who's actually dying right now, she uh -huh. um, made this one. Love it. Yeah. Well, we'll watch the results there. Now, this seems to be more my speed. Yeah. So this over one, on this side. This one is our Friday class, and this one is specifically geared toward kids, mm -hmm. and we still have kits available and everything. And so it's a tote bag and some stencils. And you trace out your image with a Sharpie, and uh -huh. then you can paint on it, and then you spray it. And it gives you that really cool watercolor oh, well, effect. Here, you hold this. Great. I'm a, I'm a fan of the bee. Good. I love the bee and all that it means to plants. Yes. And uh, Absolutely. to human beings, I don't like to be stung, although I've been stung. I'm willing to be stung if I must, but... Uh, I can't say that I'm a super... Generally, they only do when they feel threatened. Sure. They would rather not sting people. You know, what I learned as a young child is even though you can do it, a bee does not like to have a thread tied around its thorax yeah. and then flown well, around like a toy. I don't know that you would like that either, so no, it's not surprising I wouldn't. that a bee would And I wasn't like surprised it. that I was stung uh, after attempting it. Well, anyway, I'm terrible at this, but That's uh, all right. is this the final result? Show me how the paint is going to work. Yeah, so if you want to swap, and you can take the mic. Yeah. So then... Um, We'll send you out, we've got little pots of paint, and you just dip your paintbrush right into 
And then you just put the paint exactly where you want it to be. All right. So let's make some green scales like here. Like jewels. Yeah. Everybody likes some green mermaid scales. Sure. And then all you do to get that nice watercolor effect is you just spray it a little bit. Mm-hmm. And it kind of bleeds all Oh, yeah, all look at it spreading past. out all over. Yeah, and it fills in really nice for you. And, and you what, can do it in steps and stages. And as we wrap up, what will you get in your kit when you, if you come down today? What will come along with the kit? What so are, in the tote bag kit, you'll get the bag. You'll get four little colors of paint. You'll mm -hmm. get a paintbrush, a palette, a spray bottle. All the things that you need except for the, su the surface that you don't want to get dye on okay, gotcha. to work with. And in the shibori kit, you get rocks and marbles and fabric and all of the stuff that you need except for the pot and the spoon. All right, And, and what's the cost then? Um, so this one is like 15, 20, 15 to 25 dollars mm -hmm. and that one ranges from like 35 to 75. It just depends on the options that you have. Very good. Arizona Opera and your cross streets, your central and who? McDowell. Very good. Easy to find. All right. Next time we get together, you guys, uh, we're talking uh, more advanced things uh, for grown-ups. We've got jewelry, uh, some more advanced painting and uh, sewing as well. You want to find out how to alter your costume or make one from scratch? Wow. Cool. See you in a bit. That's right. Getting real stuff. difficult. Yeah. Thanks, Corey. Thank you, Corey. I we'll just want right to learn how to hem some pants. I think, he's, yeah, we can ask that. You bet. <laughs> we'll right. be right back. AZAM is back. Well, Corey is hanging out at Arizona Opera's costume shop, and he had on quite the jacket oh, just a couple minutes ago. I think this oh, one now tops we switched. It though, yeah. These costume changes are great. You. The great thing about opera is the sky is the limit, and uh, the bigger and bolder, the better sometimes. Uh, there are always big stories with uh, great costumes, and uh, this is from Falstaff. What, what character would have been wearing this? Um, I think that that was... Goody's white husband, I think, was the oh, one. Gotcha. Who Do I die at the end? No, Falstaff Dang. isn't one of the ones where everybody dies. <laughs> Falstaff is a comedy, so it all kind of is funny and it ends with everybody kind of happy. And oh, laughing. good! Everyone gets married and. Love, yeah. Star crossed lovers get back yeah, together. Yeah, they're not all tragic. <laughs> You're right, they're not. Well, you've got a big season coming up. We'll talk about that in a yep. moment. But let's uh, talk about the upcoming master classes. Yep. Um, boy, if you have an artistic bone in your body, you can really have fun with what you guys are yeah. doing. Yeah, so we have um, these are examples of our mini master classes. So they're pre recorded and a kit comes with it. Um, and we've got everything from millinery to jewelry to fabric painting on silk to resin. There's something that appeals to everyone. It's a really good way to see if you like a craft mm -hmm. without having to invest hundreds of dollars in all the material for the craft. It's right. a good sort of starting place. For well, you. and you're going to be learning from uh, the pros who really know how to do it. And what, what I love about uh, the work that you do, Kathleen, and your, your staff, uh, for theater or for opera is that uh, things have to be durable. Yeah. Um, and uh, but there are also plenty of tricks of the trade uh, yeah. that you can do use to make things fast, to make them uh, last a long time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes to make them tear away. You've got special effects and all of that. Um, so you've got a more advanced class uh, as well, right? For folks who might want to get into actually building or altering their own yeah, clothing. Yeah, we do. So later this summer, we are offering a tailor your own clothes at home class, mm -hmm. and um, my master stitcher Becky and I will like work you through how it is that you need to mark your pants and tailor them mm. in to hem them and then you'll get a small one-on-one -on -one session with us that uh -huh. comes with the class so that way we can help you if you have specific problems with yeah. your clothes or matching pieces or whatever it is that you need and even if you don't know how to sew or have a kit we have a sewing kit that you can buy through us so you can start from the very ground level oh, or great. you can already know how to sew yeah. and take well, let's off. take someone like my co-anchor Desiree Fluellen okay. she this is her all the way <laughs> on, on pure waist she loves it nice and high like that uh, this is uh, certainly her shape and the whole thing uh, let's say that she is headed to the Renaissance Festival okay. coming up next February um, can you sort of help her uh, along in, in that sort of a master class idea can if she comes in with an idea can you help someone along yeah absolutely we can guide her through where she might be able to find patterns mm -hmm. or people to help her build it we can talk about appropriate fabrics and shapes and how to cheat the silhouette because a lot of these older women's silhouettes, when you look at the historical imagery, they have tiny, tiny waists yeah. and we don't ever 
take our people down that small because it's not really what our bodies want to do naturally. Yeah, you don't have the lady holding onto a bedpost and then yeah, no, her no, no, lady's no. maid with a well, foot in the small of her out. back. No, no. <laughs> yeah, when we course the people, we do it safely and we make sure that it's just accentuating their curves, but it's not dangerous and it's not yeah. hurtful. Gotcha. Well, uh, let's uh, get the uh, details in your website, uh, how much it costs and okay. what classes are, when you can take the classes. Great. So it's azopera.org in our ticket section. They'll all be listed. And our summer mini master classes, we have two this week. Wednesday and Friday, we have one August 11th, and we have another one August 25th. And our mini master classes are going to go up on our website in the fall, and they'll be available for you to purchase, and we'll ship the kits to you for an extra cost. Very good. Well, thanks for all the behind the scenes. I could just spend all day in here. It's always so fun. Kathleen Trot, she runs the costume shop here, and her staff as well. Thanks for getting up early for us. Thank you for we coming and visiting us. Yeah, our pleasure. Uh, oh, oh, Copper Queen. Oh, your, yeah. Give me 20 seconds on where people can see this new opera and that you have filmed, yeah, by the way. Yeah, it's a film. It was our first venue into filming, and it's kind of come out sometime in October. Um, we're working out the details, but it's going to be really beautiful. We spent a lot of time making everything really gotcha. be up close and lovely. Yeah, well, I see some of those costumes yeah. right behind us over there. All right, you guys, uh, it's all happening at Arizona Opera. We're so glad that this organization is uh, in town putting on uh, great works for uh, the whole community, and they've got a great season coming up. All, a couple of war horses by the end, uh, Little Night Music and Cozy Fontute, and what was the other one? Carmen. Oh, and Carmen. Oh, Carmen. Yeah. Carmen's mm. a classic. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody loves Carmen. A lot of romance. A lot of red hot romance. Yes. <laughs> yes.